John Faircloth was the police chief of High Point at one time in his career. He says he uses that experience to help improve relations between police and the communities they serve. There's been so much going around between citizens and police, and that bothers me greatly because that's been my career. So I think I can go back and help to perhaps find some ways to bring citizens and police back together. Well, what could the legislature do to improve the relationship between communities and police? Make sure that the training is designed to do the right thing and not just say, we learned how to shoot a gun last week. Uh, police officers have, have, we need to look carefully at the applicants now because they have to have a certain personality to talk to uh, the good guy and the bad guy and, and those in between. One issue that divides most Republicans and Democrats is education. I know you're a supporter of uh, school choice, and I'm wondering, does that include the continued growth of the public tax money being used for private education? I, I feel like we as legislators have to listen to what the teachers are saying, listen to what the administrators are saying. Do you support the continued growth of spending tax dollars for private schools? Yes, I don't have a problem with, uh, with the, the choice being there for, for children to go to private schools or to public schools. I think that's a parental choice, certainly. School vouchers are scheduled to double over the next decade, reaching $240 million. Do you think the legislature or the court should make the final call on the uh, Leandro case? I'm not sure there's a firm answer that everybody would be happy with, but we've got to resolve it. It's got to be resolved. Leandro is a legal case over school funding that remains unsettled after nearly three decades. The question now is, should the courts or the legislature make the final decision? The court's still in the long run and control it. So it, uh, you know, it's going to have to be, there has to be a, uh, an end to this in some one way or the other. So I guess we'll just, sort of like a boxing match, we'll keep on until somebody falls. Faircloth played a key role in passing North Carolina's body cam law several years ago, which made the footage non-public, requiring a judge to make it public. Do you still stand by what you've done with that? Do you think that it is working today? It's, uh, I, think, I think that's one of those tools that has caused some of the, the feelings, strong feelings between police and citizens. I would prefer that we not have to have any, anyone being watched over. I'm still not certain that I did the best thing, but I'm, I think the public demands a certain amount of, okay, if you want me to trust the police officer, let me see what it's doing out there. It's John Faircloth versus Brandon Gray in the North Carolina House in Guilford County. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.